Welcome to the private office of His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Hamad Al Maktoum. It's a pleasure to have you on board. So, what we're trying to understand here is at a very high level. Can you tell us briefly about the story of Hugh Burge and how it all started? Sure. It's, it's really interesting because it started not as a traditional technology company, to be honest. It started with a tree in the garden of my co CEO and founder, Stefan Moller. So he, he had a real idea of connecting that tree to the internet. And he built something which consisted of a chain of star light stars, uh, connected that to an IT device he de developed it by himself. And uh, the intention was, as soon as the name of that tree has been appearing in a tweet, the light in that tree will glow. It quite quickly became the talk of the neighborhood and also the web community. Mm -hmm. So this was his way of showing how easy it is to connect real world things to the digital layer. And um, that was the idea, okay, if this is so easy and we see that this connection of real world things to digital things will explode in the future, we need to do something because you can't imagine if this tree would have been glowing without its name being in a tweet, but another keyword that would be a catastrophe. So he thought, okay, we need to secure that kind of connection somehow. And that was the idea of Uberge. So what we do is we create a link between the real world and the digital world by assuring the data which is generating in the real world will be transferred to the digital world without being tempered with. So what we do is we combine cryptography as well as blockchain technology in a quite unique way because um, normally you secure the tunnel, the connection between two ends. What we do, uh, and this is a radical new way, we secure the data itself at the source. So we create cryptographic certificates mm -hmm. for the data and anchor them in the blockchain, which means that this data can be transferred by any means without even knowing the recipient, but ensuring that he can verify the integrity of the data. So the authenticity of the sender, the integrity of the data itself, and also the integrity of data flow. So you cannot remove or add something to the flow without that being able to detect. That's very impressive. Is the tree still emitting the data as of date? It is, in oh, fact. So that in becomes... fact, it has been upgraded to colorful lights on the tree. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's, that's really impressive how, 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 how a tree, the idea from, all, from a tree, now embarked was connecting the entire IoT space and then mapping that data to, and ensuring that it's safe and secure. Yeah. And, it, and it's relaying it to the end consumers in the right way. Very in fact, the tree has a very important second uh, importance for our company because the tree in that garden was a birch. It's a birch tree. So the name U Birch, <laughs> you can imagine, originated from the tree as well as the idea of founding the company. <laughs> very good, very good. That's good to know. So how does the, the recent announcement about your partnership with the Seed Crew, how would you describe this as a new direction of U Birch? So we consider ourselves at the verge of a new step in the evolution of our company. So internationalization is a big next thing for us. Having an established German market, uh, we see ourselves as being a provider on a global level for this level of digital trust. And um, the cooperation with Seed Mina is one of our main pillars for this strategy. Um, we see this region as one of the most important, most thriving areas taking advantage of blockchain and cybersecurity uh, technology. And the partnership with Seed enables us to really get a footprint on that market because Seed is a very respected, well-known entity in this market. And uh, together with our experts team and their market knowledge, this will be a kickoff for a lot of successful enterprises. So that's really good to hear because, you know, work. It's not only the product or the service that you have, it also maps to the innovative vision of that particular country or that particular market. And UAE being the core and, and Dubai driving the innovative landscape for Middle East really drives the whole mechanism, especially in the space where you are. And that's why it becomes a very important market for you as a company to be in this space to accelerate and, and unleash the potential of the region. In fact, as part of our international strategy, we've been talking to a lot of partners and doing in-depth analysis of the certain regions in this market. And this area, especially Dubai, is known as a global hub and epicenter of blockchain and cybersecurity 
technology, so we, we need to be here. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, that. That's good to hear. And part of the strategy focuses on building alliances with major technology players in the UAE as well as in the government projects. How do you ensure that this develops and grows as part of this partnership? Are there any specific role for each of the parties involved? Definitely. So we are well aware that just our technology, as you mentioned before, will not be sufficient. So this is a very specific market and uh, we heavily rely on a partner like Seed, which is the expert in the needs of the potential clients as well as the ways of doing business here in order to get our products to this market. So our expertise and high quality technical people is one thing, but we need the local market knowledge, the network, and this is the kind of divide between the, the objectives and also the duties of, of this partnership. That's good to know. And that brings um, us to an, another follow-up question to understand how do you define or how important to UAE is the UAE to your long-term plans? How do you see it here as your long-term vision for this part of the world? In fact, as mentioned before, this is, in our opinion, the epicenter of advances in blockchain technology and cybersecurity. And um, as this partnership grows, we will establish a frontier, we will open a company, we will staff it, and uh, I myself, I will be the CEO of Ubitumina Cybersecurity LLC. Mm -hmm. So our vision is a long-term partnership with Seed as well as the potential clients on the government, institutional or enterprise level. Understood. And why do you think it, it was the right time? It, like, after post-COVID, it, it, was it the right time for you to enter in this part of the world? In fact, this plan, to be honest, <laughs> has been uh, generated before COVID already. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, especially with COVID, we see there is a big need in terms of supporting digitalization and digital transformation of businesses as well as our social life and, and uh, kind of organizational issues with trust. So the more we have social distancing, the more things get uh, separated in terms of uh, geography and, and location, the more the trust is an important factor. And uh, especially here, we see a wonderful ground for growing that trust through technology. Uh, if you look at other regions, there is still kind of uh, reluctance to uh, this kind of new ways of doing business supported by blockchain and cybersecurity. Here we see a, a ground of a common understanding. So, for example, the launch of Smart Dubai in 2015, at that date, most of the other countries considered blockchain to be uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> so sure. Here you see the foresight and the vision of the rulers of Dubai, how that would affect the prosperity and the well-being of the citizens. And this is the perfect ground for us too. And I, I think uh, just circling it back, you know, it's not only in the cyber security or the crypto or the blockchain space, I think we are the only country in the world who has a minister associated to yeah. happiness. So, so, so in terms of the well, well-being, the, the spectrum is quite wide, right? right from an individual citizen, the health and well-being, all the way to adoption of the latest technology, so that um, as a country, it's, it, we all can come together and build the, build the building blocks to bring this nation and, and make it a mark on the global landscape. And use the participation of the citizens. So I have been looking at all the apps which are provided to Smart Dubai, which yeah. are really aiming at that goal you mentioned, creating happiness and a well-being for the people living in this country in the Emirates. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. And can you tell us more about that? Who will benefit from your product and service as an end consumer? How does that work? In fact, our infrastructure provides benefit for almost every sector and industry. So we are creating a trust level, which is bridging gaps between industries, between regions, between the real and digital world. Um, but we will focus um, uh, on a few sectors for the beginning. So uh, obviously manufacturing, uh, utilities, healthcare, smart government, smart cities. Uh, these are things, logistics, which benefit directly from our services. And here in the UEA and in Dubai, we will concentrate on the healthcare system. Obviously, Corona uh, provides a threat and we have some solutions in order to tackle this threat, which we will try to offer. As well as Smart City mentioned before, the Smart Dubai thing is a perfect match <laughs> to what we support here. And um, utilities, especially the energy sector, will be something very, very important for us. 
That's, that's good to hear. Uh, as you must be aware that the UAE and, and, some, and the wider uh, region across the Middle East is, you know, they already have the, the regulation somewhat or the other or some uh, boundary conditions in place regarding blockchain technology. What do you think the Middle East should be doing differently to encourage and harness blockchain technology? <laughs> As I mentioned before, honestly speaking, we think the Middle East is the region in the world which is doing exactly the right thing. So um, everything here is already in place and it is part of the overall strategy of the, of the region. So the only thing uh, we would like to, to ask the people here would be continue on that road of being a visionary and really adopt and welcome new technologies which are based on this infrastructure. So that's the only thing. There's nothing really to be changed. It's, everything is perfect here. No, that it's indeed, uh, I, I hope and wish you all the best. You have created an impeccable company with an amazing offering. And I think with the timing is also an absolute right timing. With, with the, even in the pandemic, you did, with the Dubai Health, the, the digital health certificates and other offerings, I think uh, it's a very long way to go. We really appreciate you taking your time today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and you for having us. It's a pleasure having you. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.